Right, first I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and double honors unto the elders at Great Millstone and honors to you brothers out there on the highways and the byways teaching this truth in all sincerity. Okay, this is the brother Akaya Kwam and I'm just going to piggyback back off the, the spirit and the vibration. You know, the brother um, from GMS Men of Valor 12, Gabar, pushing out there right now for the spirit of the Lord into the spiritual powers, man. And, and it and it's it's funny, man, because hey, man, I I already had this this um lesson put together, and I kind of like, you know, you know, it's, and it's just funny, man. I just remember that I had it when I was watching the video, man. And hey, I agree with everything the brother was saying. Listen, man, but, but hey, there's a level to this world which is hidden. See, the the, the Yahweh Sham Shai made this whole universe, man. And there's levels to this universe which are hidden, things which are only spoken about in in mythology, unspeakable things. Okay, that the average person today cannot grasp in their mind, and if they they are told, it is too wonderful for them. The elites know. That's why they make these movies, and that's why they they're trying to become gods. They're not just trying to um have all the money that's for you simple minded niggas out there that you don't know nothing they're trying to become something more than just a vessel that has uh, um, uh, 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 material things they're actually trying to become powers guards on a level which a lot of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native American Indians doesn't, don't know exists but they know it exists they know there's a level to it and they're trying to attain something which was given to you in your birthright because what you Negro, Spanish, Native American Indians don't understand is Yasha Allah means he is a prince of power. So if your father is the most is the most high, then what kind of power is he gonna bestow upon you? See, cause there's different levels to power. See, your your local drug dealer has power, your local politician has power. Power is, is a force being able to move people around to control things. But there's a level of power out there that you can feel that's undeniable that can't be stopped okay that's that spiritual power man that's like that's when you get that god status man where you're where you walk into a room and your very vibration shakes the room and people's spirits and their whole bodies are shaking before you man there's a level to this thing okay which we are going to receive beginning with the elect we're going to we're going to achieve what the so-called white man wants so badly he really wants to be a power because let's get this one thing straight the so-called white man is a power on earth but why is he a power he's a power just like uh, the wizard of oz is a power he's a little flimsy guy a little flimsy faggot okay he knows that physically he himself is nothing the only thing he has is what guns and and, and lives he's a he's a false god <laughs> he's not a true power but he's pulled the wool over people's eyes and he's using gadgets and so forth to 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 supplement himself when you're a true power you don't need guns you don't need lies you rule in truth because you are a true power just like Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and that's how we're going to be we're going to reflect that on earth we're going to be true powers, man. Okay? True powers. We're going to we're going to we're going to know what it's like to have to feel power, true power coursing through your veins, man. We're going to be tapping into that infinite energy, man. Infinite energy, man. Something that Esau will never know. <laughs> Here's looking at you, kid. You you Evan and Rothschild, you will never know what it is to feel true power okay you will never know and that's a beautiful thing that's one of the gifts that the Lord has bestowed only on the children of Israel and no other okay now let's get into the scriptures Zechariah 12 and 8 it says in that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David and the house of David shall be as God and the angel of the Lord before them. You know what that means, man? You brothers out there, you know, man. 
how you are fucked up. Listen, man, we're supposed to be fucked up in the body because the Lord is humbling us and making us feeble because he's going to give us something. We, like when I, was a, when I was a younger man, man, I had speed. Man, I'm, man, when I used to run, man, I felt speed, man. I felt the wind, you know. I, I, man, and the Lord took all of that away from me, man. I got two fucked up ankles. All my joints have got arthritis. I can roll down the list of ailments, man. I can't even sprint right now. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm fucked up. But you know what, man? That's beautiful because the scripture says, He that is feeble among them. So we're going to be feeble. We're going to be broken down. The scripture said, The young men shall faint. We're going to be messed up and have all kind of ailments because that's the full field of scriptures because the Lord's going to take us and basically, see how the white man's doing the transhumanism and shit. The Lord's going to do his transhumanism. We're going to be human plus. We're going to become superman and superwoman, man. Okay? We're going to become man 2.0. Okay? Something the white man can never achieve. Okay? He's going to be found wanting. Okay, it says here that the house of David shall be as God. That's the elect. We're going to be as God. That don't mean that we're going to, listen man, <laughs> we're going to be as gods, man. As God. Powers. Real powers, man. Shaking the ground powers. Electricity flowing through your body where you can feel it powers, man. Feeling like you can lift a mountain power. You know what I'm saying? That's amazing, man. And that's beautiful. And that's one of the gifts that he 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 gonna pimp. He's gonna uh, pimp. You wanna say pimp my ride? He's gonna pimp Israel, man. He's gonna really beautify his people, man. He's gonna really he's gonna really beautify his sons, man. We're gonna be a true monument unto the heavenly Father, man. Cause the Lord's gonna make us bad. He gonna he gonna make us sons to be proud of. But first, we must show ourselves worthy by being humble. And then the Lord shall bestow that gift upon us, man. And really, the power, the first gift that he's really going to bestow upon us, which is the ultimate gift, is the gift of righteousness, the gift of the fear of the Lord, which you've already begun to receive. We're going to be sinless. The, the, the second best gift that he's going to give to us, okay, more than is the power, man. And we're going to have fun with that power. Okay? Then we're going to get, you know, the money and the women and all that stuff. But it's the power, man. That's a great gift to actually have that power, man. To feel, to be tapped into the energy of the Heavenly Father, man. <sighs> to have a power level. <laughs> Alright. But Esau is trying to be, he's trying to be a God. In fact, he's trying to be a God to the level where he wants to be like the Most High. But he ain't even going to reach nowhere near that level, man. And when they're in slavery, they're going to be looking at us in awe. Them, them, Evelyn and them, they're going to be envious as a mother. They're going to be like, man, we spent all them years and 500 years having these niggas in slavery. And we never once felt that infinite energy going through our bodies. Evelyn Rothschild and them guys ain't no gods, man. They're some old ass crackers. Feeble as hell. And they never had no power, really. They don't know true power. Okay, He's Isaiah 14 and 14 says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, I will be like the Most High, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Why is that? Because you ain't no God, pursuing to Ezekiel the 28th chapter, you crackers, you ain't no gods. You're, 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 you're trying to become God with your genetic manipulation, your, your, um, your, your robotics, you're trying to manufacture yourself into a power worthy. But, but you will never be. You will never be on that level. We're going to be so powerful. We're going to command angels, man. Command angels. You devil. You devils ain't don't know nothing, man. You devils are low level, man. Devils ain't really had no shit, man. Devils are shooting guns, man. Hey, what did Magneto say? The humans and their guns, man. The fuck is a gun, man? Man, we're going to shoot fire. Man. <laughs> we're going to be like them comic books, man. We're going to be straight out of a comic book, man. Real power, man. That's why those comic books resonate with Jake more than anyone else. Because it's in us, man. That power is really in us. 
but it's like what the Lord, the, what the Lord can do. The Lord can basically lock that power, turn off that switch on in you. But that power, we're, we're princes of the power in the spirit, man. Our spirits are charged. It's just the Lord toned us down, man. Locked off that spirit, but the Lord gonna turn that tap on, man. And that's we're gonna feel that, my man. The day I feel that power, man, I'm gonna break these chains. I'm gonna fucking get down on you crackers, man. We gonna have fun out here. I'm gonna throw whole build a whole building on one man. Just fucking oh man. We gonna we gonna we gonna exhale out here, man. Okay. We gonna we got a lot of built up frustration. We gonna release it, man. We gonna be like Vegeta out here, man. We gonna be like Goku. We gonna be like Broly. We gonna power up just for the fuck of it, man. Just to shake the ground. You know Jake like to stunt. You know you see when Jake playing the NBA, Jake could do a layup. Jake don't want to do a layup. Jake want to do a super dunk. So imagine when we get them powers, man. We gonna be stunting, man. We gonna show off. But you devils, you trying to be us, man. And this video is really gonna be poking fun at you devils. And then what the funny thing about it is. When you get to the heights of the of the power, you, the measly little power that you're going to receive, you're going to try to put your hands on us. And the Lord's going to show you true power in that day. When you put your hands on the men of the Lord, man, you might have a brother up in the in the torture chamber, man. And it's going to be like Blade. And when you watch Blade and they had Blade chained up and fucked up, and then they came in and gave him the thing in his mouth and he... And he you know, and he broke the chains and started killing crackers. Hey, that's going to happen, man. Brother might just be there, messed up, and you just calling on the name of Yahaba, Shami Yahweh Shah, you're getting tortured, and next thing you know, all of a sudden, something feels different. And you're like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to break these cops. Boom! You know, oh shit, <laughs> crush a cracker's head. And you feel that energy, man. Then it's fucking, it's game fucking over, man. And your devil's going to be in fear, like, what the fuck, putting bullets, boop, 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 bullets bouncing off, man. You'd be like, what the fuck? He devils, man. You don't know. You don't know what you, you. You don't know, man. So you keep doing your research. You see, you do. You, the funny thing is, you devils did all this hard work, generation after generation of researching, researching this, experimenting, and we're gonna achieve what you want in the blink of an eye. <laughs> and we didn't do no research. The Lord already had it there for us, man. It was already within us, man. S Psalms sixty-four and six. They search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. That's why you got your super soldier programs and all that. But listen, man, we ain't going to be no super soldiers, man. We're going to be super man soldier and super woman. You know, women ain't no soldier, but they're going to be super. Even our women are going to be stronger than you, man. And that's a damn fucking shame. Our children are going to be stronger than you. Our toddlers are going to be able to break your fucking head off. You, you're going to see, man... <laughs> Hey man, Jake don't really know man. It's like the brother said, he Jake's you Jake don't really know what it means to see they you gonna get these niggas come up to the camp and you be like, look, you're an Israelite, like, oh yeah, what's yo, know, what else? You don't even you he, Yasha Allah, he's a prince of power, man. Do you know what that means? <sighs> but a nigga want a record deal. This is the Lord says he's gonna bestow you with power, man. Power. Go. <laughs> Man, this is, what else? What else is there other to be than a power? A true power? A god? <laughs> you know? About, I'm a rap god. What the hell is that, man? Ain't no rap god. You get hit by a car, you gonna, you, the car's going to stay in what, where it is, and you're going to end up in the building. Hey, when you're a god, man, a car hit you like in a Hancock, and the car merges around your body, and you walk away from that. Because you're a god, you're a power, you're a force. You're an unstoppable force, man. <laughs> True power? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you devils, man. You devils are going down, man. <laughs> this is his, um, Ezekiel 28 and 8. It says, they shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Will thou say before him that slayeth me, I am a god? But thou shalt be a man, and no god, in the hand of him that slayeth thee. So when we get you devils in slavery, man, we're going we're gonna to taunt you devils with our power. We're going to show off in front of you, man. And it's, you're going to be burning, and then we're going to put you to death. 
And are you going to say, oh, I'm a god, I'm Evelyn Rothschild? No, 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 you're not. You're, you, you're going to, your, 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 your lack of power and your lack of ever reaching that level of power is going to be evident in that day. Okay? We're going to be crazy, man. Okay? This is 1 Corinthians 15 and 15 or 51 because we're going to get a taste of the power we're going to get through them spiritual powers but the, the real badness is when we get them new bodies man them superhuman bodies man because the Lord already got that listen man you got Esau researching DNA first of all Esau's trying to use genetics to make a, a better man understand that the Heavenly Father already knew how to make a better man he's the one that degraded the DNA of man in the first place who do you think is the author of DNA? Yahweh Shammy was shy. Yahweh shy. Yahweh Shammy was shy is the ultimate geneticist. He's he's the ultimate scientist in the laboratory. He created DNA, and he's already got bodies designed with DNA that are gonna be crazy ass bodies, man, to suit fit for a god, that are gonna be fit for a prince of the power, man. Brand new Lamborghini bodies, man. <laughs> hey, man. Is it First Corinthians 15 or 51? Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality, man. And that's twofold. Okay, so when this corruptor will have put on incorruption and the mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that it's written, death is swallowed up in victory. Okay, because while we're alive on earth in them bodies, man, them bodies are going to be impregnable. They're going to be, there's no disease that can harm them. Them bodies, man, they, they're going to, they, hey, the Lord, the Lord's going to give us bodies that last for a thousand years, man. A thousand years. These bodies that we got now, these, these foul bodies we got now, man. They barely last. Some, some motherfuckers are dying when they're five years old. Okay? Them bodies that we're going to get, man. Esau would wish he could make a body like that. But a super soldier program. You, listen, the Lord is going to show you the real the real genetics uh, in this motherfucker. He's going to show you the perfection of genetics and spiritual powers together. And that's a God. That's an Israelite. Okay? You're going to find out, man. Okay? Hey, I want to get Revelations 2 and 26. And we bring these scriptures out. But, hey, some brothers don't really understand, man. They don't really understand what power is, man. Power is what the brother was talking about. Superman. That's power. That's what. That's the power we're going to have over the nations. It's not guns and bullets. The power we're going to have over the nations is we're going to be over them like Superman is, is, was over the earth. Unstoppable powers. That terrible powers that... Guy, you, you just don't want to cross. You, if you like, you got your local, your local bad boy, and he's got a gun, and nobody wants to fuck with him, right? But eventually, someone does fuck with him and kill his ass. You know what I'm saying? Or he gets shot up, and he has to go to hospital. Now imagine if he was like, if Superman was on your block, <laughs> it'd be fucking game over, man. That, that's, that's true power, man. It's unthinkable and it's completely unthinkable. There's no, there's no thing you can't shoot him. What are you gonna do? Okay, and there ain't no kryptonite because our kryptonite is sin, and we ain't ever gonna commit sin. So what are you gonna do? There's nothing you can do. This is um Revelations two and twenty six. He says, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Man, Lord said he's gonna give us power over the nations. Power. Okay, and when you look up the word power, it, it means it's excusia, which means power of choice, liberty of doing as one pleases. Hey, that's deep because that's what Bain says Gotham is yours, do as you please, none shall interfere. And you know why no one's going to interfere because there ain't going to be nobody with the power to interfere. There ain't going to be no one that's going to stand toe to toe with the Israelite in that day. There's no one. Any heathen that would even dare to think to step against us, they're gonna have. They're, we're gonna probably look at them and cause their body to implode. 
we're gonna be like a carer. You know what I'm saying? You ever see that movie A Carol man? Hey, there's certain animes where people have got powers where guys' heads are just fucking exploding around them. Hey, they, I believe they showed that in that movie Lucy, where she was just making people drop dead. Or you could just control their mind, telekinesis. Listen, we're going to be powers, man. The Lord is going to give us the keys to this universe. We're going to unlock a level in this universe, a code in this universe, a vibration in this universe, that these devils dream of unlocking. They dream about being a god. They want to be a god so badly. And they believe that if, if time was to go on for long enough, they would be able to research and make themselves into god. But only Yahweh Sham Shai can make you into a true god. And that gift is reserved for the children of Israel. Beginning with the elect. And that's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> so fuck all this shit, man. You know what I mean? Hey, you know, you, you gotta catch hell. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be a bumite and all that shit. But at the end of the day, come on, man. Look at the gifts that the Lord is gonna give us, man. We're gonna, we're gonna have experiences that no heathen will ever experience for all eternity. Because the heathens will never be gods. The so called white man, all this Lamborghini that he's got, and he's got yachts and castles, but he will never be a god. He will never know true power because <laughs> true power was never meant for him he's got that that false power man that temporary power that vanity superman went and in on no vain power man that was real power man okay he went to bed with that power man and he woke up with that power okay dude could explode the planet you know what i'm saying that's real power so hey man hey. <laughs> You fucking elites, man. Keep doing your, gen your genetic modifications and all that shit. But just know this. You will never be Israel. You will never take our birthright and our right to sit as sons of the Heavenly Father and rule over the whole universe in power like how Thanos was rolling. And, and by the way, like the Bible was saying about Thanos, Thanos was a son of the gods. He was he the, the Thanos was from this the, is a second generation god. That's why he naturally had that power. And if you if you go into a lot of them um the them um like you got the guy from uh, uh Galaxy uh what's it called uh Guardians of the Galaxy the 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 main character that he's he um the Star Lord Star Lord is a son of a god as well. Or some kind of being like that. See, they show you there's higher level beings in Israel. We're a higher level being, man. See, that's why Esau try and learn Jake DNA, but to this day, Esau don't really understand DNA that well. Because that's why Esau can't make himself into a Jake. Because we he can't make Jake DNA and he can't have our spirit. And he will never he's never gonna and I'll say it again, you 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 elites, Evelyn Rothschild. You might have one trillion, but your one trillion ain't never going to buy you power that we going to have. Because the power that we going to have, we could we going to go anywhere and we going to run shit. And we ain't going to have nobody standing behind us. You can't do that, Evelyn. Okay? If you didn't have your money and all those things, you couldn't stand by yourself. Floyd, you got in the ring with Floyd Mayweather, he will beat you down like a bitch. Ain't no one ever beating us down. The scripture says none shall make him afraid. Why do you think the scripture says none shall make us afraid? Even you elites, if someone pull a gun out you, you'd get scared. Why do you think the scripture said about Israel that none shall make us afraid? <laughs> because you can't make a God afraid. The only thing that can make a God afraid is a God more powerful than them. Which is Yahweh Ba Sham Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai. Well, the only thing that's going to make Israel afraid is, is Yahba Sham Yahweh Shai or, or a brother that's got a higher power level. Because we're going to have power levels too. Not every brother is going to have the same power level, man. They show you, hey, man, they know, man. Okay, King David is King David is going to be powerful as all hell. And that's how, that's one of the ways you're going to know when King David, and they, they kind of show you that in um the airbender. When the kid come back and he had them powers, and like, yeah, that's that great. That's that great one coming back in the reincarnation. Because the elect are always going to be the most powerful of all Israel. 
the Lord's going to bestow more power on the 12. The 12? Psh, hey, man. That's, hey, man. The 12. They, hey, if you watch. Hey, you should watch Gaiva, man. If you watch that, that anime Gaiva, basically in that anime Gaiva, it basically tells you that men were actually created to be weapons. Which that, that, that's in the scriptures. The scriptures tell you about Israel that thou art my battle axe and weapons of warfare. So, <laughs> and then they tell you when he, when they put on the Gaiva suit, they, basically the Gaiva was like a guard, man. And he could shoot, shoot. He had a cannon that come out of his chest. He had blades that come out of his arm. We're going to be able to do all that shit, man. We're going to be able to do all that, man. Have blades come out of our arm, chop a man in two. He could fly. Okay, and then when with the Giver, you had the, the Zoonoids, which were like genetically modified. Now, the Zoonoids were made from technology from the people, them same people that created the Giver. And then you had the Zor Lords, which the Zor Lords had specific crystals which allowed them to control Zoonoids. And there were 12 Zor Lords, and then one Super Zor Lord who was all powerful, man. Hey man, hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they they kind of know what's going on, man. Okay, the twelve, the twelve, they're gonna have they're gonna have the most power, man. David, and then Yahweh Shai, yeah, we ain't gonna have the same power level of Yahweh Shai, but we gonna experience power, man. Every Israelite is gonna experience power, man. Just like they show you in Dragon Ball Z, you had Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and they all have power. And then you had little Krillin, you know, he didn't have no power, man. The little bitch, Yamcha and all them little the little heathens, they don't know true power. They sh they shook when when they felt the power of Vegeta or Goku, man. So hey man, we we got things coming to us, man. That's un fucking believable, man. Unthinkable, unthinkable to the to the small minded. But when you know the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know nothing is impossible, man. And the Lord is like that. The Lord the Lord is flamboyant, man. And where is sons? We're his sons, man. And the scriptures say he we're supposed to be a monument. We're supposed to be a monument to him. So if we're if Israel is a monument to him, then what do you think he's gonna bestow upon his sons, man, who are meant to be a monument unto him? Who he put his name on. <sighs> Alright, so with that I'm gonna say shalom.